What's going on, wrestling family? Welcome back to the channel. So what we got here is the contract signing for the Fatal 4-Way match at Royal Rumble. Now, before we get into the video, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Help me on my goal to 10K subscribers. We are right around the corner. Without further ado, let's do this. Champion Roman Reigns. <laughs> Yo, Roman look different. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul. Hey. Now, in case you're not watching your own show, Mr. Smackdown Executive, your, your, your tribal chief, Roman Reigns, and I just arrived. We haven't had a chance to submit this contract to an attorney, let alone even the wise man Buddhist man his eye there you go <laughs> like a bunch of excuses man the wise man getting his eyes on that agreement so therefore why does it what is it why does it look like this Roman reigns will not Sign that contract this evening. Hey, yo, LA Knight got the, hold on. LA Knight got the, the got the X Men Jubilee jacket on. That's <laughs> that's what's up. Just so I don't mean that literally. Roman Reigns isn't signing this contract. Paul, that's absolutely fine. What? Because I have three signatures here from the willing participants, and I'll simply make this a triple threat match for the vacant, undisputed oh. WWE <laughs> Universal Heavyweight Championship. My guy Nick out is bro. He got zero policy. He don't care who you are. You gotta love Nick Aldis, man. He don't care. I don't know if you realize this, but uh, Mr. Aldis, I care deeply about you. Sir. Oh, lips to butt cheeks right now, bro. Lips to butt cheeks. That's what's happening. Sorry. I do. I, 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 I halfway respect and admire the mediocre job that you've done as the Me SmackDown executive in charge of the show. Yo. And the fact that you do such a mediocre job like so many other people back there, but while doing it, you look really good at it, especially in these Paul Heyman wannabe custom suits that you've been wearing. Paul Heyman, are you going? <laughs> oh man, he this is suspecting Nick Aldis got to end at some point, bro. I feel like Nick Aldis at one point is going to jump out of that suit and wrestle somebody. I think he's just waiting for that moment, but he's trying to stay as professional as possible. But no matter how good you look, there's no way you can sell this to the board of directors. No way you can sell this to the fine, upstanding people of Atlanta, Georgia.
and no way you can sell it to your tribal chief who does call the shots here in WWE because the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, should be defending the title at the Royal Rumble in a one-on-one -on -one match. Yeah, but how many of those matches that he actually had that was one-on-one -on -one turned into a one-on-four, one-on-three, or one-on-five when the bloodline got involved? That's really hypocritical, but... I'll give it to Paul Heyman, bro. He's a stand-up guy for his guy. You know what I'm saying? He's a ride or die. I'll give it to him for that. His quarter seconds lined up good, though. I ain't gonna lie. And Paul Heyman. I don't care. Will you he got a fade the in there, too. one match i had roman reigns shoulders pinned at crown jewel and his cross-eyed half-wit cousins <laughs> saved him exactly but paul you speak one more word i'll come over there and i'll cut bacon off your back <laughs> hey did i have breakfast this morning this should be my rematch but instead a couple johnny come lately's walk up you got aj you got randy all of a sudden they get to jump to the front of the line and be a part of the match that should be mine after having a few months off a few months off yeah yeah pretty much maybe you don't get it you see the bloodline tried to end my career and you walked over my dead body to get that match with roman reigns you got a point. And you lost. It's another point. You did lose. So you're lucky to be even in this match. Luck. You got to be talking about the wrong guy. If there's anybody with a horseshoe planted firmly up his keister, it's got to be you. <laughs> what? I'll put it to you like this. You should really watch the bass in your voice when you're talking to me and maybe go ahead and turn all your attention to Roman Reigns. Oh, that's real good, genius. You understand that we're not just fighting Roman Reigns. We're fighting each other. Get that through your thick skull. Oh, that's how it works. Thank you for Randy, that. Just I'm glad it. you explained it to me because here's exactly- I just realized this. The crowd a few minutes ago was cheering for Randy, but AJ Styles is from Georgia. How does that work out? That's crazy. Exactly how it works. I walk in, I pin Roman Reigns, I become WWE champion. If that means I have to walk over your dead body again, I will do it. The only difference being, it won't be the bloodline that leaves your land. It'll be the man with everybody saying, "Hey, night, yeah." Oh. oh. AJ got swole, man. The animosity between these two, there for all to see. Styles and Knight throwing haymakers at one another. Then you get some security out there. Nick Aldis is breaking them up personally. It's the SmackDown GM in the middle. He got up. The more WWE officials pouring out of the backstage area, trying to keep Knight and Styles away from one another. This is nasty. Between the man they call the Nick got out of there smooth, man. You know what? I think Nick got out the way, not because he like scared to, to break up the fight, but I know I think he knows. He's like, I'm trying to be very calm and be professional. But if one of y'all land up a punch on my face or smack me or something, it's gonna be me and you. He getting out of that suit, man. Uh oh. He's about to pop his head off like a Pez dispenser. I see what you're trying to do, Paul, and it's not going to work. And I'll tell you why it's not going to work. It's not going to work because later tonight I am going to drop solo and I'm going to beat him right in the middle of this very ring. One, two, three. And after I do that, I'm going to reintroduce to Roman Reigns the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment. R. K. K. O. Oh. 
Reigns, pretty interesting segment. I, Roman Reigns is going to have to sign that contract. There's no way they're going to let him like vacate the title and have a triple threat match at Royal Rumble. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I got more videos to do, so maybe it'll happen in there. But anyways, what do you guys think about the segment? I absolutely love what they're doing with Nick Aldis. And I love the fact that WWE has gotten pretty good with mixing multiple storylines together. Like what they're doing with Drew McIntyre and the history of the people he used to work with and kind of taking his revenge on them, whether it be Cody, CM Punk, or whoever. And you got Randy Orton's story mixing up with AJ Styles, mixing up with LA Knight, also all feuding with uh, with Roman Reigns and that whole thing happening. It's it's pretty cool. But uh, I, anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Salute. Peace. Have a good day.